Hey y'all, it's your girl Summer coming at you guys with a new video. Um, and this video is titled, Even When You Don't Feel Like It. All right, so um, I'm gonna be very brief, but this video, I believe it's gonna help those individuals that struggle with procrastination, that struggle with being able to keep themselves on a straight and narrow when it comes to, you know, accountability, um, or that struggles to get up for work in the morning or do certain things do it anyways and the reason why i say that is because a lot of the times the reason why we can't hold ourselves accountable or we aren't growing is because some days we're like well i really don't feel like doing that so i'm just not going to do it or i don't feel like praying today or i don't feel like reading my bible today i don't feel like doing that so i'm not going to do it and the thing is is those days where you don't do it those are the days where your growth and your um your growth and your, I don't, I don't know what word that I'm looking for, but pretty much you're more susceptible to failure in the future because at this one moment, just because you don't feel like it, you're like, well, I'm just not going to do it. But the thing is, is in those moments when you don't feel like it, but you still do it, that is really what strengthens you because life is not about feeling. Faith is not about feeling. Having faith in God is not about a feeling because sometimes, and there are many of us that can say like, hey, I've been trying to pray to God and I don't feel nothing. There are times when you literally can feel the presence of God. And then there are times where you don't feel it, but that doesn't mean that God isn't there. You get what I'm saying? So it's almost like even when you don't feel like it, even when you don't feel like going to work, go to work anyways and remember that you're not showing up for those kids. You're not showing up for that job, but you're showing up for the Lord. In your relationship, when you're tired of, um, what do you call it? Um... Uh, compromising and being on the positive side of things you get what i'm saying still do it when you don't feel like it because at the end of the day it's for a greater whole you're working together with another person to accomplish a great a bigger picture right so our pettiness and our feelings sometimes or us not feeling it shouldn't always be a reason that we want to leave a relationship right sometimes you just got to push through because the feeling isn't always going to be there um even in regards to the promise Let's say God told you to do something and God like, well, I want you to do this every day for the next 10 days or something. And you stop at day five and you're like, well, God, I don't really feel like doing this. But God told you to do it for 10 days. So what you need to do? Do it for 10 days. You get what I'm saying? So um, I feel like it'll help a lot of us. And I'm learning this lesson myself because I really wanted to call into work this morning. And I was like, oh, I'll be so tired. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to do it even though I don't feel like it. And I had the best day ever. So um, I just want you guys to know that even when you don't feel like it, those are the moments that your faith is going to grow the strongest that is the moment when you are going to become more accountable more honorable more of an individual that someone will want to work with want to be around someone that um has integrity right because even when you don't feel like it you keep going so yeah even when you don't feel like it all right peace out